So, sir, is, is are these allegations true about you that you've been? In, yeah. He can explain them. He's the one making the allegation. Well, I, I understand that, sir. I'm just. Yeah, I'm here to maintain order. If he wants to accuse me that I'm with the Iranian government, that's his decision. Liberal MP Masjid Johari, who used to be one of your colleagues, um, he is a supporter of this regime. And this has rubbed so many in this community the wrong way. I am wondering, do you have any insight for our viewers, Ms. Alislav, why this man is even still in caucus? Uh, I don't, and thank you very much. Have a good evening. But Ms. Alislav, you used to work with him, didn't you? He was a colleague. That's it, though. Thank you. That's it. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Well, folks, um, there's going to be a candlelight vigil taking place here at the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts. Um, it is an absolute disgrace, of course, that the Iranian regime shot down the Ukrainian airliner and 176 people, 57 of whom were Canadians, were massacred. Now, one of the reasons I'm here, in addition to paying my respects to the victims, is to try to see if the Liberal MP for this very riding where the Performing Arts Centre is located is going to have the audacity to show his face. I heard that he's not. I'm speaking, of course, of Majid Johari. Mr. Johari is somebody, if you can believe it, who supports the totalitarian Islamist regime in Iran. And um, it's staggering. It is staggering that a man such as he represents Richmond Hill in a Western democracy. It's also staggering that he's still in caucus, that Justin Trudeau hasn't removed this puppet of the mullahs in Tehran. And the third staggering thing, folks, is where is the media coverage? If this was any other foreign national who was a member of government in which fellow nationals died by an act of terrorism, do you think he'd still be in that government? But I guess when it comes to the Justin Trudeau liberals and the media party, well, it just doesn't fit the narrative to go after somebody like Mr. Johari, does it? Anyways, I'm about to go inside, take in the vigil, and let's see if Mr. Johari dares shows his face. circumstances because originally it was supposed that we get that flight uh, to go Iran and come back at the same flight but at the last minute uh, we changed our flight and got a flight uh, an airline, another airline and come back one day before. Ma'am what are your thoughts of Mr. Johari given that he is an actual supporter of the regime? I actually um, study a lot about uh, his campaign uh, I know many people who were in his campaign were um, Iranian government allies. Well, I'm with Richmond Hill Councillor for Ward 2, Tom Munch, and he was the, one of the driving forces behind putting on this uh, vigil. Uh, Tom, the big question is, I mean, it, by the way, it was a moving, beautiful tribute to all the victims that died in this horrific event. What I'm curious about is that, conspicuous by his absence, is Liberal MP Majid Johari. This is his writing, after all. Of course, then again, this is a man who has openly tweeted his support for the Iranian regime. 
Tom, why is this individual still in caucus even? Well, I can't speak for the federal government, uh, unfortunately. Um, I'm just a local councillor. But, but, you know, look on the flip side. It's probably good he wasn't here. Uh, the emotion level in the room was somber. Uh, there were some people who got even emotional at the end uh, who were agitated by the regime, especially on the way that things were handled. And it's best to keep state and, and, and safety uh, separated. Tell me, sir, if uh, Mr. Johari did show up tonight, what would be the reaction, especially of the Persian community in attendance here tonight? No idea at all. I was here to see it. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it would be a warm welcome for some reason. No, because I saw him downtown in university. Uh, the, the ceremony that it was university, he was present, but he didn't have a speech there. But I expected to see him today, uh, tonight here, and I was very interested to know what, what he was going to say. Okay, when we can talk, we can talk in Iran, we can talk in Canada. Okay, I'm asking people, why you don't trust the international? Two days ago, threw me out of the event that we were just done with Islamic Republic of Iran. He threw me out. Are you a supporter of the regime, sir? Yeah, you're supporting the regime. Okay. That should be supported to the airplane. My complaint is people here, they are all affected by this tragedy, but nobody is has nobody is brave to talk to the international TV to say why we are here. We are here against the government, against the regime that killing people 41 years. Ma'am, can I get your opinion on uh, Majid Johari, the Liberal MP for Richmond Hill, who is a supporter of the Iranian regime? Okay, what do you want me to say? He's supporting the terrorists. So. And I notice he's not here tonight. What does that say? Yes, because people don't like him. Because everybody knows whoever supports Iranian regime uh, is supporting uh, terrorism. And, and sir, I noticed the, the police uh, who are still uh, watching us were, uh, were saying something to you. What was the interaction you just had with the York Regional Police here? They've been told that don't bring anything politics over here. But any The police have been told that. By whom? By whom? By this uh, gentleman <laughs> and by Tom, uh, by uh, the, uh, who, what is his name? I forgot the name. He's uh, 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 the, the Tom, uh, Tom. Tom Munch? No, no, he, 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 you know, he told us that don't bring up any politic problems. But in, in my opinion, any moment is related to situation last 40 years with the politic corruption in Iran. Any moment we have, why we are over here, all the people Iranian? What happened to a, the, the flyover there? So, sir, is, is, are these allegations true about you that you've been in? Yeah. He can explain them. He's the one making the allegation. Well, I, I understand that, sir. I'm just. Yeah, I'm here to maintain order. If he wants to accuse me that I'm with the Iranian government, that's his decision. What is the deal with the police uh, watching what you say here? Uh, actually, I, I've seen this kind of uh, this kind of behavior many times with the police uh, because there was uh, many cases that Iranian allies uh, they were trying to they hit me and they protect them. This was in Canada. This was happening. Canada, yes, in Canada. And when I said no, they hit me. You should arrest them and they said no that's okay uh, you didn't you didn't get hurt you're okay you're okay what is going on i i don't know the police protects these terrorists yeah the police protects them hi miss alisaf david menzies i'm just wondering one of the angles i'm pursuing on this tragedy is that liberal mp masjid johari who used to be one of your colleagues um, he is a supporter of this regime and this has rubbed so many in this community the wrong way. I am wondering, do you have any insight for our viewers, Ms. Alislav, why this man is even still in caucus? Uh, I don't and thank you very much. Have a good evening. But Ms. Alislav, you used to work with him, didn't you? He was a colleague. That's it though, thank you. That's it. Ms. Alislav, this is the most important story in the world right now and that's all you have to say? 
Uh, you uh, uh, defected from the Liberal Party to the Conservatives. I guess maybe you have alliances with your uh, old party. Okay, I think we're, we're finished though. Oh, Thank sorry, you. Who are you, we're just, I work with Ms. Allison. Oh, okay. Why, so why is she tongue tied? Home. We're just, thanks. Okay, very good. So, Ms. Alislav, do you, do you support the Iranian regime like your old colleague? Oh, sorry, I didn't recognize it. Or are you still under Andrew Shear's gag order? I think he's yesterday's man. Ms. Alislav? So there you have it, folks. That is actually my MP, Leona Alislav, for Aurora Oak Ridges, Richmond Hill. And um, she has nothing to say. This is the most important story in the world right now. And this former liberal, now a conservative, won't speak any ill of Majid Johari, who is a supporter of the largest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. That is just absolutely incredible. Or maybe, as I speculated, um, Ms. Alislav, who of course was promoted uh, by Mr. Shear, because that's what you do evidently for ex-liberals, is, is still, um, I don't know, suffering from liberal or uh, rather rebel derangement syndrome. But um, just absolutely stunning that this conservative MP won't speak out about her former colleague, a man, I would argue, that has blood on his hands thanks to his support of the mullahs in Tehran. Hey folks, are you as outraged as I am about the garbage that is coming out of Iran these days? Well, we can do something. We have six resolutions. Please go to baniran.ca. That's baniran.ca. See what those resolutions are, sign the petition, and send a message to our government.